Happy Monday. Uh, today I wanted to share, excuse the uh, noise. There's a tug of war going on over here. You probably can't see it. Milo and Magnum are having a tug of war. <laughs> so you may hear some weird noises. Anyway, so I wanted to come on here today to share a product I purchased off of Amazon. I was bored one night. Really, guys? Really? I don't know if they're in frame or not. I can't tell. <laughs> There's some thinkers. Anyway, so I was bored one night, got on Amazon, and I typed in the search bar. I just put dog grooming. And I was just scrolling through the products that were coming up from that search entry. And this product popped up, and I thought that would be so cool if this will work on my grooming table. So when I'm grooming, they are now under this table. <laughs> So um, when I'm grooming the boys, I'm constantly laying my scissors, my combs, um, other stuff on my grooming table. They get full of hair. They get buried by hair. Um, they fall off the grooming table. And I thought this product, if it'll work on my grooming arm, would be great to keep those uh, items in as I'm grooming instead of laying them on the table. So let me open this up and uh, share it with you. Now, I know a lot of you um, won't care about this item if you don't groom your own dogs, but I think this will be great addition to my grooming supplies if it works. We'll see. Supposedly, it'll work on my grooming table. I don't know. We'll see. Are you still <laughs> I don't know why you guys gotta play tug of war when I'm trying to film, huh? Yeah. You better watch your nose. You'll get cut. You will get cut. You're so nosy. Yes, you are. There's no picture on the box, so I thought there would be so I could show it to you on the box. Look at everybody. Everybody's nosy. Everybody has to know what's going on. I hope there's directions. Oh, wait. There is a picture on the box. Um, it's called a Pet Grooming Tools Holder. It's by Shalandi Joy Pet Supplies Company. I'll of course have it linked uh, in our Amazon store if I like it, if it fits my grooming arm. Well, there's no directions, so I'm gonna have to figure this out myself. No, nope, no directions, so. Okay, here's what it is. So, this right here, this square piece is supposed to fit over your grooming arm. And then these little spaces here are to fit like your, your uh, scissors, your thinning shears. And this little section here could hold like my uh, uh, Dremel uh, nail file thing, could hold my uh, nail clippers. So I'm gonna go try and put this on. I was looking at the command hook had, there was these these um, trees, almost like this part right here, um, and they got they stuck on stuck stick on the wall with command tape. But I thought this would be perfect, like to slide the scissors in a chair. So let me go put this on, see if it fits on the grooming arm, and uh, show you if it works or not. All right, guys, we are now in where I groom the boys. Um, I apologize if I sound a little nasally. I just had the worst sneeze attack, the worst sneeze attack. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to take my grooming arm off, <clears throat> and we shall see if this fits uh, my size grooming arm. And I think I want it, I think I'm going to make it so the tray part is in the back. And it fits, it fits, it slides up and down easily. So let me tighten up my arm. And then it comes with one of these um, like knobs with the screw here. And there's a hole on here so you can adjust it whatever height you want. Let me get a pair of scissors and uh, see how high I want this. <clears throat> yes, I just had the worst sneeze attack. That cold air hit me when I let the, I let the boys out after I... Uh, 
open that up and that cold air hit me and I just started sneezing like crazy. Okay. So, I want it about there. So I'm gonna fast forward this, you guys. Cause this might take me a minute. <laughs> Okay, that was a long, uh, took a long time to get that screw down there to get it tight. I think that height will be perfect. Let me move the table back a little. I thought at first, now, so since that's on there, I usually have this up against the wall a little bit more, but that's okay. We'll get it up there as close as we can because Magnum's crate sits underneath here. But that'll be fine. It won't stick out too far. Yeah, so my scissors fit in there good. Let me get the thinning shears I use. My thinning shears. I could, There's more room for uh, more scissors if I want. I can fit my brushes in there. And I love this. Uh, I still love this wet brush for dogs. Uh, it's in our um, Amazon store. You want to check it out I love that brush yeah so I could fit a couple other shears in there too and comb I like which is a uh, um looks like this I think I got this at I think I got this at Meyer. I love this. This is the comb I usually reach for. So I'm going to put in here what I usually reach for. So that's the comb I usually reach for. And then in the tray, I can put my um, my uh, toenail tripper, trimmers and then my Dremel nail tool. I have a video on this too. I'll link below if you're interested in checking that out. So I can lay those right here in the tray so they're accessible. This is kind of crooked. I'll have to fix that later. It's sitting kind of crooked, but yeah, that's going to work out perfect. So excited. I thought it might stick out too far um, for the dogs, but my dogs are always standing like on the edge because they want to like, it's like they're looking for a way to jump off. <laughs> so you definitely need um, a uh, harness. This part goes over, uh, over the head and this goes up underneath their legs. I mean, you you can't leave up there with those on because they could still try to jump off, but this keeps them a little bit more immobile. <laughs> yeah, so that's going to work out great. I could even put my um, blades in that tray. Um, if I didn't want to put my toenail clippers and stuff, I could put my different sizes of blades I have for my clippers so when I'm changing them, I can just throw them right in there instead of on the table getting hair all over them. So yeah, I really like it. Now, it was kind of pricey, at least I think it's pricey for what it is. Um, it was $29.99 for that little thing, which seems ridiculous to me, but that was the cheapest, that's the only print one they had, the only seller selling it. So yeah, so $29.99, but you know what? It's going to make my life easier because usually when I'm grooming, I'll just sit my um, shears and brushes down and they get so full of hair. Then I've got to get the shot back. I got to suck all the hair off and it just, it's more time consuming. So even being $29.99, it's going to make things go by quicker because I'm not having to take the time to clean all, all my um, grooming items off of hair. So let me get the camera so I can give you a close up. All right, so here is the caddy up close. And I just measured the um, my arm, and the diameter of my grooming arm is one inch. So I believe in the description when I was looking at it, it said it would fit one to two inches uh, diameter. But I don't know how, I mean, look at that right there. You see right there? There's barely any space. So I don't know how this would fit a two inch diameter arm. So if your arm measures more than one inch, I would not get this. <laughs> because it will not fit. Um, 
So I hope uh, this video was helpful for those of you who have found my channel due to my grooming videos. I know a lot of you do not groom your dogs, but I wanted to share this product because I think it's going to be very helpful when I'm grooming my boys. And if you guys um, are grooming at home, this may be helpful for you too. So, all right guys, if you have any uh, questions or anything, leave them in the comments below and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.